I'm Sky Kabakub and this is my studio where I make my rebirth garments. really really sick um, and like I had to take off time from school mm. and I was I, yeah I was just like having a really rough time so I decided to have a rebirthing ceremony for myself and we had a ceremony where I I, I wore some of my stuff like I had uh, <laughs> um, I had like a unitard that was white that like covered like had glove hands in it oh. Um, and so like I laid down in that like kind of as a ghost and then everyone came and placed a different piece of chain mail on top of me and then a unitard that was all silver that covered my head, hands and feet. So I looked kind of like a slinky like shadow. Um, so I crawled up into his dress <laughs> and then he came out and then like gave birth to me on a quilt that I made. Oh, wow. Well, my friend Molly Hewitt, who is like my godmother, she's like <laughs> painted and then wearing like a big 70s moo and like... <laughs> it sounds like glorious fashion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I like came out, I had made like a little placenta <laughs> that was made out of the same silver material as my unitard and they like cut the cord and then they um, like they like poured jump rings, like the the things that oh, I wow. used for chain mail. They just like poured a bunch on top of me and then like unzipped the the silver unitard so then it was like all rainbow underneath. Om hum, om shim shim, shim shim, shim bahat, shim hum haram haim, om savaha. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And then and I drank some kombucha. <laughs> and so that was my rebirthing ceremony. Yeah, so rebirth garments is just that. And I used the the logo for this space was a, like I originally had started this space with um an ex-boyfriend, mm -hmm. and then I had gotten the logo tattooed on me. <laughs> Can I see? Yeah, yeah. Wow, very nice. It's almost like a, like a cut jewel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's actually from um, the Renaissance etcher Albrecht Dürer. His um, shape, the Dürer's solid, oh, wow. but then it's a fourth dimensional version of it. So, <laughs> and then I like rainbowized it. Of course. And I have like um, <laughs> oh, I see a it thing over, over the there. Corner. I'm not sure if you can get that. <laughs> a shot of um, even more colorful and even more dimensions to it. Almost like yeah. So I had gotten that tattooed on me. He he kept the name that the old name that we had decided on for the gallery space. But I I took it and then I I gave it. It a rebirth too. So now it's kind of the, and it's the reminder for myself to always be, yeah, the, pa the past always informs me, but then also just being like, I can always become a new person. I, I don't have to be stuck in this life. I can, I can reinvent myself. Super crop, another super crop. Here's my unitard, my jock straps, and this actually has a pocket for a packer. Made this um, prosthetic leg cover because she's she's had the same prosthetic for like 10 years, which is like way longer than, <laughs> than you're supposed to. 
the, the knee joint is like exposed on it and she falls a lot. And so um, whenever she falls and she's like wearing jeans, it cuts through her jeans. I have, I have my chainmail jacket that I wore, <laughs> which is nice and, and heavy. Um, yeah, here's another like, here's kind of like a sports bra binder. I have this other little jock strap, but it's also a, a garter belt. Is there anyone that you'd like to give a shout out as someone that has really sort of, if not for them, Rebirth would not exist? Mm -hmm. Well, definitely my parents, <laughs> uh, Arturo Kabakub and Jan Hein Kabakub. They're, um, they're, uh, they're both artists, so I, I've lived, yeah, and, th and this is their, their house. Like, my, my parents own this building, and we have this beautiful studio where my mom would dance um, and have dance classes and then my dad would use this chroma key blue wall to do like blue screen work. And this is some of his art. Yeah, and his paintings. His paintings have always been around me. So I think my color palette and my interest in geometry is like kind of comes from that. Yeah, my parents really influenced me. Um, my mom was a professional dancer. So she danced with Joel Hall. Um, as a part of his original dance group. A lot of my collection comes out of her, I think, um, because she had such um, exper like bad experiences with the professional dance world, like with anorexia and with just like always being forced to conform to these these like in, like really absurd body standards. Yeah, and. You know, I, ex I have my performers dance, I think, because of her, because I want to give her back. Like, whenever I, I bring her to one of my friend's, like, current, like, modern dance performances, she's always amazed at the, like, at how there are people with different bodies. And, th and they might not even be that different. It might be just one person who's slightly bigger. Mm -hmm. And, and she'll, it like really gets to her. She, she gets super emotional because she's like, it's, am, it's amazing how far, like how, how the dance world has changed. Like maybe if I was dancing professionally now, I, I could have like felt okay in my own body. You know, all of the performers were were talking about really serious topics, and so, and like, and I think it really stuck with people. And then when they come out dancing, then it shows like, oh, we we can have like a breath. Like we do need to have time for celebration. Like there there needs to be time for talking about these like sad and like really real and intense. Um, topics and and like experiences that we have but we also have to have a time for celebration for ourselves. Mm -hmm.